Hi, my name is Angelo Lopez. I am a Filipino American editorial cartoonist based in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm very happy to be um, giving a speech for the Climate for Peace exhibition. Thank you for the invitation. I especially want to say hello to all the participants in the exhibition. Um, thank you all for using your cartoons to fight for an important cause. Your good work is an inspiration. I'm especially appreciative to be invited as I'm a Filipino-American living here in California. As in the Philippines, we Californians are seeing more of the effects of climate change. Our rainy seasons are becoming shorter and more intense. Our summers are hotter and our fire seasons are more dangerous. I'm sure these are issues facing the Philippines too. The first step that I do for my editorial cartoons is to do research. When I do research, I come up with ideas. As the climate crisis has intensified in the coming years and decades, more and more people will be forced to leave their homes. As, shrink as droughts increase, more people will be fighting for shrinking resources, and this inevitably leads to war. And the increase in immigration is causing tensions in many countries as anti-immigrant prejudice is on the rise. Um, if you look at my cartoon, I used a soldier with the peace flag attached, with a, attached to his rifle to show the desire for peace even in times of war. Extreme rain is falling down on the skulls caused by extreme climate change. I'm trying to show that extreme climate change has been one of the big drivers of war between different groups of people. I think editorial cartoons are an effective means to show the dangers of climate change. They can convey ideas in a simple image more effectively than a thousand word editorial. Um, I think this is especially important in the digital age as people's attention spans are getting shorter and they don't have the patience to read a thousand page editorial. This is both a good time and a bad time for being an editorial cartoonist. As newspapers decline, an important outlet for editorial cartooning is disappearing. But Instagram, Facebook, and other social media offers an editorial cartoonist a lot of freedom if they have the marketing skills to build a large audience. Remember to do the research. There is nothing wrong with being a progressive or conservative political cartoonist or whatever your ideology is. Just make sure you have an informed opinion based on facts that can be verified and can be agreed upon across the political spectrum. And since cartoons are a visual medium, just keep drawing and keep developing your style. The Philippines has some of the best political cartoonists in the world. Um, use that inspiration to find your own voice and your own cartooning style. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me. I wish everyone luck as they pursue their cartoonist dreams. Thank you very much.